This uh, lesson is going to be about tenths uh, applied to the major scale. And um, everything I do here is going to be major and minor tenths. Okay, and I'm going to do it in the key of G, and uh, it's a movable, uh, you know, patterns that you can apply to any key. And uh, as we're talking about this, we're talking about the uh, construction of the major scale. So the major scale in the key of G is down here on the bottom. G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, F sharp, we we'll call that diminished, and then G. And uh, we'll talk about the, the, the F sharp diminished, which is actually called a, a seven minor seven or F sharp minor seven flat five. But the reason I showed it as a diminished right there is we're not talking about sevenths, we're just talking about tenths, and uh, it's a two note chord. So, you know, this gets treated just a little bit differently, but anyway. So those are the chords of the G major scale, and the G is the tonic, and we call that the one. And so, if you use the numbers, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to one. And there's a, a specific construction of a major scale, which is, you know, well known, but we'll talk about it anyway. Uh, the formula for the major scale is, uh, there's a whole step between one and two. There's a whole step between two and three. There's a half step between three and four. There's a whole step between four and five. There's a whole step between five and six, a whole step between six and seven, and finally a half step between seven and back to the one. So if you had to play that on the, on a, the G string, I mean the starting on G on the, on the E string, in a straight line you'd see from G to A, which is one to two, there's a whole step between G to A, because there's a, a note between it. Between uh, two and three, there's a whole step. Between three and four, there's a half step. Between four and five, there's a whole step. Between five and six, there's a whole step. Between six and seven, there's a whole step. And finally, seven to one, there's a whole step. And so, um, the way we get the, the notes, the chords that go to that scale, the one is always major if you're talking about diatonic chords, which are the chords that fit into the notes of the major scale and the minor scale. The two is always minor. Again, if it's diatonic chord, there's plenty of times when you'll see a major two chord, but it has to have one note altered, okay? So, but naturally, the way the notes naturally lay, if you play, um, the chords in the keys, in the major keys. The two is always minor. The three is always minor. The four is like one, it's major. The five is major. The six is minor. The seven is, is, is minor. And we're gonna talk again about the minor seven flat five. And the one is major. So overall, the one, 
the four, the five are all major, the two, the three, and the six are all minor, and the seven, has its own kind of like own universe there. Okay, so playing a tenth is less like the third. So a G, the third of in the chord G is a B, and that's a third. And all we're gonna do is just put it up an octave, and that gives us our tenth. So you can see the shape there. I'm using two and four. But you could also use one and three. Or um, yeah, I use two and four, but you can use different fingerings. Okay, now that's a major tenth. We call that a major tenth. If you if you drop this note back a half step. That gives you a minor tenth, okay? Okay, so in the key of G, the tenth on G is a major. We've already discussed that. All right, if you go up to the A, it's minor. Up to the third chord, it's a B, it's minor. Up to the C, it's major. On up to the D, it's major. Up to the E, it's minor. The F sharp is minor, minor 10th. That's why I just called it a minor here. And since we're not worried about the f fifth scale degree, we're just calling it a, a minor 10th. The chord is a diminished chord, and the chord is designated as a minor seven flat five, as opposed to a full diminished, but that's not important for this lesson. But all we need to know is the seventh scale degree is a minor tenth. And then back to the, uh, the one again, a major. And you can figure it with uh, two and three, or two and four or one and three, or whatever you feel more comfortable with. And then when you're going from major to minor, say from the, from the one to the seven, you can finger it with a one and three or one and four. Uh, I mean, two and three or two and four, or one and three, but it lays just, this finger is the longest finger, so it just lays perfectly like that. So to play the whole scale in tenths, you're gonna use this formula that we just talked about. Whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So it'd be like this. And then uh, if you want to just uh, use two and four instead of two and three, you, you can do it that way. Let me show you that. So, uh, so. So the reason 
I probably go to default to a two and four is because down there, up here, it's pretty good. Um, that's pretty comfortable. All right, but down here, that's pretty comfortable. But down here, that's a little uncomfortable. And that's pretty uncomfortable. I mean, I can do it, but. So it's either or, and you can mix it up. And then uh, if you want to move it to another key, you can go to C, 